For the first 20 minutes of Friday's Battle of Unbeatens, it looked like Montville was going to run away with an easy win over New London. Tyler Gerard Floyd ran for two touchdowns in the first six minutes of the game. And Jesse Sutherland intercepted a tip pass and took it to the end zone to put the Indians up 20-3 in the second quarter. The first quarter we were down and I don't, we just came out weak, they came out fired up and we just had to keep our heads up the whole game. At that point, I, we've never been down by that much in the season, so you know you have your thoughts. We got a little bit unlucky in the first half where we had a pass that was that was tipped right in the guy's hand and, 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 and went into the Montville's hands and they ran it in, so we were down and we needed something. New London got that something in the form of a 54-yard touchdown pass from Josh Clements to Nick Singleton with 109 left in the half. You know, and the same guy that tipped the ball scored a touchdown. You know, and that's Nick Singleton. He's been a senior for us, and he's been a, a great leader for us. That was big because, as you can see, we, we were hanging our heads, and we can't do that. I, just, I mean, I just try to bring the team back up to see, see what we can do. It was really important because <laughs> we came out of halftime with momentum because we were in the locker room just fired up, coming out halftime, scoring. It was excellent. In the second half, things started going New London's way. After a rushing touchdown by Stefan Dance, Josh Clements' short kick was mishandled, and the Whalers recovered. They took advantage of another fortuitous bounce three plays later when Kyle McKinnon fumbled. But Chris Ewing was there to scoop up the ball and take it in for a touchdown, putting the Whalers ahead by two. After their defense held, McKinnon broke free for 55 yards, setting up a one-yard keeper for Clements, giving New London a 28-20 lead. Montville was reeling, but they looked like they had a chance to come back when Tyler Gerard Floyd hit Jesse Sutherland on a halfback pass. On the following play, the Indians ran the same thing again to the right, and Gerard Floyd finds Bobby Johnson wide open for the score. The two-point conversion would tie it, but after a penalty negated their first conversion, J.P. Morales is sacked by Frankie Dallas to preserve the Whalers' two-point margin. You know, unfortunately, you know, we had a we had a, a bad formation there, and, and, and they called it back. And then the next play, we couldn't get the pass off. You know, and it was a great job by New London High School. Montville had one last chance on fourth down, with 152 remaining. But Morales' pass falls incomplete, allowing New London to run out the clock on a 28-26 win. It was hard because I felt like like we, we were being lazy, like we weren't going to come back from this. But my team surprised me. I mean, they keep fighting, keep playing hard. That's one team. That's one thing I like about this team. We got heart. We got heart.